Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanae and I am the creator behind Original Flavor, which is your one-stop shop for all things affordable luxury, fashion, and beauty. So let's get into today's video. Today's video is going to be a fall collective haul. Collective because it's going to be from many different stores. I don't really do a lot of hauls where it's going to be from one store. Just because I feel like I like to be very selective about what I'm buying, well, as selective as possible. So I will buy it little bit by little bit from each store in order to really get the pieces that I want because quality is more than quantity. Also, bear with me for this video because it is like midnight and I'm feeling this because I just really want to get this up because now we're in October. So I'm a little tired. However, I'm still happy to be here to share with you all. Before we get into today's video, let's talk about my outfit. So with my camera, you're not able to see my full outfit, but I will include some clips. So pretty much I'm wearing one of the sets from the most, the most recent Target full designer collection. This one is the purple suit, the purple stretch kind of set with like the bottoms have more like a bell bottom type of like style or flared out. So I have that one and I think it was Victor Glumod or Glumid. Mod, I think is how you say it, is a designer who created this one. As you guys already know, I'm a huge fan of designer collaborations when they collaborate with like a more accessible brand, just because sometimes we might really like the styles of that designer. However, we might not always have that designer coin in order to buy it. So I think it's a really great option. I have purchased from the last couple Target designer collaborations and I haven't been disappointed yet. I feel like I'm very good at picking out things that I know I'm going to like. So I'm always like super satisfied and there's always something that I love in those collections. So I'm going to show you guys, is it going to be a video or is it going to be a picture of my outfit? Um, in addition to having the set, oh and also for reference I'm wearing a medium. Which is kind of like my, it's pretty much my true size. I gained a little bit of weight so I'm kind of like a true medium before I was a small medium. But a medium and I would say it fits true to size. A little bit big but still true to size. For the earrings. I actually have my Ula Johnson earrings. I got these at a sample sale. I got them for a really great discount. I love them. I felt like they were going, they went, they're going with the vibe I was going for. I had my green glasses on, you'll see in the picture, and I feel like it was giving me like a 70s vibe. And then I had a yellow, little yellow bag, so it was like, the, you know, my it matches my yellow shoes that you guys will see, the ones from Forever 21, the platforms. I had it in my last Gucci video, the unboxing. So, yeah, that's my look of the day. Super cute. I like the set. Like I said, much cheaper than anything you would find on the designer's website. More accessible. A set that I can see myself wearing. You know, whether it gets cooler, I can put some boot with it. Boot, uh, sorry, boots with it. I can see myself wearing this to go to Target. I can see myself wearing this to go to brunch. I can see a lot of different options for this. So, that's the outfit of the day. And as far as the designer collection goes, I was planning on doing a haul video. However, however, I don't think that's really going to happen just because the collection released, I think, last week. Oh, maybe it's not too late. We'll see. But I'm debating still just because I feel like by the time I get the video up, it just might be too late. Or it might not be helpful because all the pieces might be completely sold out. So what I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to, well, I already asked for my stories and people said they wanted to see it. I'm also going to look to see what's available still on the website. If there are still pieces available, then I'll do it because then I think it will help somebody make a purchase. But if not, then I think I'm just going to skip out because the whole point would be to be helping you guys see how things look on me. Or, you know, some, maybe I'm similar to your body type. Or maybe just seeing it in motion on somebody else, an average person, might help. But, yeah, so we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted on that. So, let's get to the haul. So, before we get into the haul, I also did want to note that I'm filming in a different location today. Normally, I film, like, in that, by, like, in front of my doorway. But I am trying to reorganize my room a little bit more. So I did purchase a bookshelf because I ain't got the Ikea coin to do the little pack system. Nor do I have the space in my tiny New York City apartment. So we're going to make do with what we got. You know, use what we got to get what we want. And that's the situation right now. So everything isn't organized how I finally want to keep it. However, it is the bags are there. I'm going to get the little, like, 
shelves, the internal shelves, the little bag hangers in order to kind of organize it and make it a little bit more aesthetic. But the point is to get the video out, so here we are. For the haul, we're first going to start with beauty, and we're going to start with items I got from Valentino Beauty. So from Valentino Beauty, what sparked me actually getting items from this collection was one, um, I went in store, I think to Nordstrom on 59th Street, and they, I guess they had an exclusive where they actually had a display for Valentino Beauty because it's not in all the department stores, and somebody was talking about it, and I was like, okay, cool. Then, one of the platforms I signed up for as an influencer had sent me over some of the Valentino products, so it's the second time. So, it took those two times in order for me to be like, alright, let me take the plunge and actually purchase something from the collection. So, what I got gifted from the collection is going to be this lipstick as well as this compact. The compact the blush is, it's actually a dual blush and shadow, and this is in the shade number two. It's a really beautiful blush. It's like a dark berry pink, dark pink berry. I dropped the thing on. But it's really pigmented. I was actually very surprised because sometimes I feel like when it comes to design or makeup, it could be a little hit or miss. Like either it's like amazing, beautiful, out of this world, we need to hype it up. Or I feel like it's like something that is like why. Or, you know, because I'm darker, so I feel like sometimes it's just something that's like ashy and weird and just like maybe if you're really fair skin, it'll work for you. So this is really beautiful. And not to mention the packaging. So these items are a little bit pricier than your typical items that you would buy from other brands. However, I think that you're paying for quality and you're paying for the packaging. So if you're not someone who cares about that, then I guess you could skip out. But if you're someone like me who likes quality and you like for the packaging to be on point, then I definitely think you should check out some of these items. Maybe even just the lipstick. And I'll include close-ups of everything. It has a little Valentino logo. And this color was in Rosso Valentino in the color 505R. And this is like a beautiful berry. I'll see if I can include a picture of me wearing it because I wore it a couple of times I sh when I sh went out to shoot and it was beautiful. So those two were gifted to me. And then I have the foundation I had bought. This is a very Valentino foundation. It's light lasting, per light lasting perfecting foundation. And it has SPF 26 in it. Also, once again, that beautiful packaging with the V, the red, just very luxe looking. And the color I have is DN2. I'll include a picture of me wearing it because I'm not currently wearing it right now. Um, I really like that foundation. Let me know if you guys want to see a more in-depth review of those products because I actually really do like them. I think they're good for like a really like quick go-to fall makeup look. So that's what I'm thinking I might film. Let me know below if you guys want to see that. I think it'll be really fun and I think it'll be super cute. Um, the foundation, what I will say about it, because I did try it a couple times, is that it's a beautiful finish. It's definitely satin. I wouldn't call it matte. It's like a satin um, normal finish. I have combination of oily skin. I didn't really have to blot any more than I would with any other foundation. I am combination of oily, so no matter how much I set my face or use powder, I'm going to have to eventually blot, especially if it's been hours of me wearing that product. So nothing out of the ordinary with that. I will say the coverage is very is medium buildable. I would say it's truly more medium like some of the darker marks I have I felt like I had to like really like put on like maybe an extra layer or two to really cover it however I do have some really bad pigmentation right now because of like a really bad breakout I had so I tried to you know, remember take that into account otherwise it's a beautiful foundation I really really like it photographs well but definitely medium and for last thing for beauty we have oh before we move on to the next beauty product this is the other reason I had I had um I had ordered the the foundation because if you ordered the I think a certain amount of product or if you ordered the foundation you got this beautiful vanity mirror. I don't know if you guys can see it because of the light reflecting, but it's like this beautiful gold like V, like the symbol, and then it's like the mirror behind it. I feel like this is just gorgeous. So I mean foundation and then you get the mirror. I would have bought the mirror anyways. So this is gorgeous. So next up for beauty, I had purchased from NARS, well Sephora, I purchased this NARS blush in Orgasm X. It's super gorgeous. I am a huge fan of NARS blushes. They're like maybe top two. Yeah, between NARS and MAC, I think those two are my favorite blushes that I can think of right now. Like I love them. 
And I've been moving away from doing highlighter as much, like actually putting a separate highlighter on my faces. I actually really love highlighter. The only reason why I've stopped using it is when I wear makeup for a long period of time, I get a little bit of oily, like around my T-zone, and I think the highlighter just accentuates that. So what I'm opting to do is using blushes that have more of like a reflection, like a highlighter look or peel. So it's kind of like a two-in-one, so I get the effect of both. And I really like this one. This one is like... It's like the regular orgasm, but I said it's a little bit deeper, a little bit more peachy, not orangey, but I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I would say like a little bit more like a deeper peach, which is great because original orgasm doesn't really work for those of us with darker skin tones. It was supposed to be a universal blush, but you know how they do when they say universal. It doesn't really include those of us with, you know, a deeper melanin complexion, melanated complexion. So I really like this one. I got this as a recommendation from one of the ladies at Sephora. And then lastly for beauty, because I don't buy as much beauty products anymore as I used to because I try to use up what I have. And then I also get things gifted to me. So in order to have a healthy balance and to not have too much that I have to waste or give away or just return or whatever the case may be, I'm being a little bit more selective about the beauty products. At one point, all I bought from Sephora, like I was just spending all the money on Sephora. Those days are gone. Lastly, I have The Ordinary. And this is the... AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. This is nothing new. This is new to me, old to you, but it's not really new to me either because I've heard about this from many, many times. It's basically a more affordable dupe of the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. That product is amazing. I've tried that one before, but apparently this one is cheaper and it's also a little bit stronger. People have said are more effective. I should use instead of stronger. Um, so I'm really excited to try this because like I said, I did have a little bit of extra pigmentation recently due to some like excessive breakouts I had a couple weeks ago so I really want to try this to kind of really amp up my you know evening skin tone routine regimen I've tried ordinary products many many times and I have never been let down yet it's very to the point what you get what you see is what you get nothing more than that very no thrills just straight to the point so I'll let you guys know how I end up liking this Okay, so let's get into the clothes. So like I said before, this is collective. So it's going to be one or two pieces from the brands. Just because, like I said, I prefer to pick and choose, be selective, and really make sure I'm getting pieces that I love. And I'm not going to be one of those influencers that's going to buy a whole bunch of stuff from whatever store and then sit here and show you guys all the items and then go and return it without telling you guys that's what I did. Because what people do. That's not what we're doing here. When I purchase things and I show you guys, it's really because I love it and because I think it's something that you guys might like. It may not always be the price point. It may not always be the brand that you like, but I feel like it's just fun to see what other people are buying. So let's get into the first brand. So the first brand is going to be no other than Zara. So I picked this up maybe last month. No, early, early September. Wow, it's been a month. So pretty much... I got this blouse. I really love all the colors. It's like really funky, but still like fall appropriate. I wore this, you'll see, in my New York Fashion Week vlog. If you didn't check it out, check it out. I wore it in one of my posts on my Instagram. I'll be sure to include clips of it so you guys can see how it moves. I think it's a really beautiful top. And something that I feel like I'm going to wear for a while. Like something I can see myself pulling out season after season. Because that's really the, the mission. Is to buy things that I actually want to wear for a while. And I actually really love. Not things that are just trendy and just doing it to copy others. Next up, I have something from DDF or Diane, <laughs> Diane von Frotzenberg. I hope I said that right. This is actually thrifted from Ella Rue. When I went to DC with Christian, I researched thrift stores. I don't know why. I, I don't know if I heard that DC is good for thrifting or if I just assume because it's a big city. But either way, I went and this is the dress. I'll include a picture of me wearing it so you guys can see like the full length view of it. It's so beautiful. Once again, it's very colorful watercolors, but I feel like all the colors are very like 
fall appropriate. If you guys read my blog post, I was I talked about fall trends. I'll leave that below. And I talked about how fall pastels or winter wintry bright is going to be a thing this fall and winter, which I'm excited for because I always feel like past pastels are great for winter, like on my nails. I always do color coordinated nails for the season. Like whatever season I'm in, I do my nails that color. Sometimes I just make things so long winded. And um I just feel like pastels to me have always been like a really great choice for winter. Something about it just gives me like snow bunny vibes. So I think that that's what this does. Like it's really cute. Um, I can see myself wearing it many different ways. It's well made. And I got it for $60 versus like $500 because her dresses be expensive. Okay, next up on what's new. We have two items from Blank NYC. First, we're going to have this gorgeous denim jacket but this is not like any other denim jacket you're used to bam look at the back hopefully my camera is able to get the coloring right let me see okay yes so it has fringe all around here i thought this was super fun another um thing that was on my fall trends list was western well it was like an honorable mention but Western is kind of like making a little bit of a comeback. And this was, I feel like this gave me like Western vibes. Like I feel like if you wear it with a nice fedora, a cowboy hat, some boots, like this gives me like a little bit of Western fun. It gives me a little bit of 70s boho chic. I think it's like a super fun jacket and something that's definitely like up to speed or up to my style. I'll include a picture of me wearing it because I did shoot it with Christian and some video. Super fun, and Blank NYC makes some like really great jackets, um, jackets, leather coats. They have really good options for outerwear, and that brings me to my next one from Blank NYC. Damn. And it's going to be this beautiful jacket. I will include a picture of me wearing it and how I styled it, but this jacket is so beautiful, like. I have one other jacket that's one thing that I felt like last season I wasn't too crazy about for some reason like I have like one jacket that has like a pearl detail on the collar I got that one because I felt like it was cute because of the pearls and it was a little bit different because everybody was wearing jackets so I was like I don't know if that's really something that's gonna be a thing but it's still a thing we're still wearing jackets and I found the one that zonifies me as a person so it's pink, it's purple, it's fun. I haven't seen any other color combination like this. I think it's just a beautiful piece to have and something that I'm going to love to rock. I wore it for the first time the other day to go shopping and I got so many compliments on it. I feel like it was so hard to get this. Like it sold out so many times and I finally found it and I bought it and I was so excited. So I'm going to leave the link below. Definitely if you're interested and you really like this and you love this color, then I highly recommend you go down to the link and try to put yourself on that list because people were looking for it okay guys so first up from bbx brand i have one of their signature blazers okay i'm not showing you guys i'm not showing you guys really well but i will include a picture in a video but pretty much this is the blazer dress well the blazer that I would like to style as a blazer as well as a blazer dress. So this is the detailing that I was talking about before. I'll include some close-up shots and some pictures of the outfit. But this is how it looks here. The material is like pretty heavy, pretty luxe. And the belt is this. And this is where, this is the belt that's wide as you can see. And you're able to do like the, the really cool like tying for it. Super excited. I'm thinking about doing some reels with it because, yo, <laughs> if you're a creator or an influencer and you're following us, you know what I mean. Like, these reels are just too, truly something else. The effort they want you to do. But you know what, though? I'm going to try. I can't say anything if I didn't try. So we're going to try. So look forward to seeing this because I think this is a really beautiful fall piece. It's like milk chocolate, like a warm chocolate brown. I think this is gorgeous. The one thing I will tell you is to make sure if you're interested in one of her blazers because they're gorgeous, I would highly recommend to follow her on Instagram and sign up for her email notifications because when she does her drops, it sells out really quickly. Just for reference, they're in the UK, so it's UK sizes and UK time zones. So when they drop, it's 4 a.m. in the US or the Eastern time for me. And Lord, 
I'd be waking up for it because it's worth it if you really want something from the drop and they sell out and they occasionally do back orders but once it's gone it's gone and they do something like every month or so so definitely sign up there you don't want to miss out the next item is something that I'm actually seeing for the first time with you guys because I ordered it and it just came in in time for the video I'm so excited okay guys so I just opened up the package and I had gotten, so the color, one of the colors they were had during this drop was brown sugar. So it was like a nudie pink type of color. So I got this kind of shirt situation. Got a size medium, but this is looking a little small. So I'm hoping that it stretches because I'm getting a little scared because, like I said, I've gained some weight. So my sizing, I'm not, I'm not really confident in all my sizes that I'm buying sometimes because... I get enough weight where the same sizes are too small, but also sometimes can be a little in between still. So, yeah. And then I don't, you know, it's hard to tell because I haven't bought anything from this brand before. Well, this product from this brand before, so I don't know. But it has really luxe details on here. I don't have pictures of this one yet, but I will include a video of me trying it on for you all. Super cute. So, in the top, I got a medium, which I feel like is usually, like, pretty safe for me because... But I guess the problem I usually have is that I'm busty. And because I gained weight, my, my boobs have gotten quite big. Like, they're all, all record all record high at this point. Um, for reference, I wear 32G. But now I think it's more like a 32H or a 34G. I don't know which one. I'm going to go with 34G just because I feel like my back got wider. But my boobs are bigger. So, who knows. And then this is the, the pants. I did get a small in these. So I might have played myself. I got a small because I was scared of the length. That's really what I was afraid of. And I didn't want it to be more fitted. I didn't want them to be too baggy because I didn't want it to be baggy and too long. Because I feel like I'm 5'2 for reference. So that's not cute. So, I mean, I know the whole thing is a relaxed fit. But it doesn't mean it has to be too long. Brands, please come up with some petite lengths or short lengths for those of us that are not 5'10. That would be really nice. So I'll try them on. The material is super luxe. It has the logo here, BBX brand. I'm excited because because of the way that these are crafted and designed and the details, I do feel like this is something you can get away with, like with looking cute on the street. I can see myself putting my Bottegas with this. I can see myself, my Bottega Lido meals. I can see myself wearing some like my Yeezys with this, my white Reeboks or whatever my white shoes are. I can see myself rocking this with this combination. I think it's gorgeous. Okay guys, so we have made it almost to the end of our vlog. So last up, I'm going to show you guys two pairs of shoes I have new for this fall. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it less is more, quality over quantity. So I already have a lot of boots and stuff that I'm working on stretching out and wearing that I still feel like are perfect for this season. That there are still alternatives that I can show you guys. Um, so you guys can still, like, get the look. So, I don't really feel the need to buy much just shoes. Like, I just don't. Plus, I buy shoes that are well-made for the most part. So, I don't really have to... I just feel like I just buy those shoes that are well-made. And I keep wearing those shoes for years. Like, a lot of my shoes I have for years. So, first up, we're going to have this pair from um, Sorrel, Sorrel. These are their... I think it's B-Rex or... I don't know, I'm calling it the wrong name, but I'll include it below. I love these. I actually found this, well, got privy to this because I'm in a group on Facebook. I'll leave the link below. It's called Black Women in Luxury. So people just talk about luxury things all day, which is great, but also kind of like bad if you're someone who's trying to save money because you'll see all the things that people are posting. So someone had posted this along with some other luxury designer boots. And I was like, wow, like these are really great. Like they look super cool, super luxe, perfect for the cold weather super functional for like if it's raining or whatever but they also are super cute like for the fall like I love these I live in New York so you know the weather is like just a mess like one minute it's raining then it's hailing then it's snowing then you know but you want to look cute so this is perfect and I think this will look really nice with my puffer jacket and I also will include some close-up shots of it that I took when me and Christian last shot I think this is like <laughs> the perfect fall boot And then lastly, the next pair of shoes are gifted to me, actually. Um, I keep saying actually. It's my new word. I went from so to actually. 
Anyways, so the next pair of shoes were gifted to me by Sarah Flint. I am now officially an ambassador for them. I'm super excited. So Sarah Flint is an accessible luxury footwear brand. So they create heel sandals, flats for the everyday woman that wants luxurious vibes, but also shoes that are super comfortable because a lot of luxury shoes are not comfortable. Let's be honest. I'm somebody who has a super wide foot. It is not comfortable. And as I get older, the pain gets worse and worse. And now that I gain weight, my feet are even bigger. So it's even worse. So let me show you guys what the shoes look like. And they're great. Let me show you what, what, which one I ended up picking up. Sorry, guys. guys. So this is the pair I got. Yes. This is their Perfect Pump in the color black leather. Or black calf, rather. And this is the Perfect Pump in 100. So this is the tallest heel height they have. It's pretty high. It's a stiletto, as you can see. And I'm, like, super impressed by the shoes. Like, the leather is super soft. And then if you look in the inside, I will include close-up pictures. You can see that it has, like, arch support. It's, it has a wider footbed so your toes aren't cramped. Because, you know, we, we, we like the pointy toe. I like the pointy toe. Square toes in, but I also like pointy toes. And, you know, they thought about that. Um, they also included, like, the bottom of the shoe has, like, I don't know how to describe the texture of it, but it's different. It's, like, vinyl, rubber, I don't know, but it's to help grip the floor so you won't slip. I think a lot of thought went into this. These shoes are crafted in Italy, so the craftsmanship is, like, beautiful. And I think this is perfect. I really needed a good pair of black pumps because my current pair of black pumps are just dying and I wanted to, I'm really trying my best now to move towards more comfortable shoes. As I get older, I cannot do the uncomfortable shoes. I cannot squeeze my feet into shoes. It just doesn't happen. My feet hurt. I just can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I've reached that point in my life where I want to look cute, but I got to be comfortable too. Otherwise, it's going to be to the car with my Birkenstocks slip into the shoes or my Uggs to the car because it's winter now then I'm gonna put my shoes on go to the place and then go back into my car I can't do it so I think these are amazing and the price point is really good in comparison to other like luxury footwear brands plus it's a woman owned business so why not I will leave my code below so if you're interested in getting a pair you'll if you use my code you'll get 50, 50 eh, you'll get $50 off which I think is awesome for a pair of shoes that are well made and are comfortable that you can wear to work or wear out. Love it! Okay guys, if you have made it to this part of the video, thank you so much. You are greatly appreciated. I, You guys don't know how much it means to me. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you found something that you liked or been inspired to maybe try a different style or a different like silhouette in your fashion. I really enjoy hauls, so I'm so happy that I'm finally getting to do one on my page. I really do like hauls. Some people find hauls to be very toxic and like encouraging people to spend. I'm not encouraging you to spend. I never want any of you guys to feel like I'm telling you you need to buy something or to spend money you don't have or don't want to spend. What I simply would like to do is share things that I love that I feel like I wish that somebody would tell me about if I didn't know about it. That's, that's all I'm doing. Share the recommendations, give us some tips, putting you guys on. And if there's items that you guys have purchased that you really like, leave them below. I'll check them out. I'm always looking for a good deal or something that's super dope. Let me know. Let me know how you guys enjoyed this video. If there's things that you would like to see differently, I'm always open to constructive criticism. Because at the end of the day, if you guys aren't getting what you need from the videos, I would like to give you what you need from the videos. So, like I said before, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please make sure you're subscribed. Um, also, I'll leave the links for everything below, as well as the link to my Instagram and my blog. If you're not following me on Instagram, I don't know why, because that's where I post most frequently. I show up there every day, simply just because it's easier. Um, and then I also have a blog that I write on weekly. And I find my, I think my blog posts are pretty informative, especially if you like to read or if you just want to like know what's going on in the fashion world, the style world, you just want little tips, you just know, you just want to like have a roundup of great picks to pick from, definitely subscribe and follow. So thank you guys once again. I hope you guys have a great day, a good morning, afternoon, night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! So what's your name?